Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be starting our topic of D3.js. So D3 is uh, talking about data-driven documents, okay? It is an open source JavaScript library and it is kind of known for uh, custom interactive data visualizations uh, using things like um, SVG, uh, Canvas, uh, HTML, and CSS. Um, Throughout this course, we're going to be talking a lot about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So if you don't have um, any idea about uh, those items, I would suspect, uh, I'd ask you guys to go check out some of our other stuff um, and uh, kind of get, get a feel for at least uh, some HTML and JavaScript at least. Um, but we'll be kind of going through this in a way that isn't going to require you to know too much about it. I'll talk about it as we go through. Now, let's also maybe talk about kind of what... Um, what actually we're going to be doing, okay? We're going to be uh, doing a lot of things like some basic web standards, okay? So D3 is extremely powerful. Um, it's going to be a tool that, again, is going to create um, interactive data visualizations, but we use it to exploit uh, modern web standards, again, so, such as SVG, HTML, CSS. Um, now it is data driven. Again, you can use static data or we can fetch data remotely. Uh, we can use arrays, objects, CSVs, uh, JSON, XML. It, it, we can use everything, okay? We can also use it to manipulate the DOM, okay? Um, and again, that's the do, uh, document object model. Uh, we also have all kinds of data driven elements and we're going to also be talking about using uh, a bunch of the um, different types of plots, okay? So lines, scatter, um, maps, pie charts, everything, okay? And we'll also start talking about customization, transitions, and also uh, animations and interactions so you can really get a feel for um, the type of um, interactivity that we're looking for. Okay, now a couple advantages. Um, again, it is it is fast, it is a great framework, it's free. Um, and let's maybe go on and just start talking about how we set up our environment. Now, a couple things you're gonna need. You're going to need um, some sort of IDE. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Um, now, again, you can use whatever you want and whatever you're comfortable with. You're also going to need uh, some sort of web browser. Again, so if that is Safari, that's Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, anything okay now another thing that we're going to need is going to be um, a web server and we'll be using um, uh, python m http dot server now again uh, you can use um, anything you want you can use npm you can use um, some uh, cloud formats you can do whatever you want okay um, but just for ease and a little bit of sake of my sanity at times I'm going to be uh, doing um, using python here um, and then the last thing we need is the D3 library. Okay, so let's go on and get a hold of the D3 library. So if we go to d3js.org, you can get this uh, nice, uh, pretty interactive. And this is actually done with uh, D3 here. But what we'll be going down, and you can either download this version here, and you can keep um, a version in your directory, okay, whichever your working directory is, or you can go on and get this CDN here. Um, and so I'm, I'm actually going to be using this CDN, and so I'm going to go on and actually just copy this right now, okay? Um, and again, you can uh, look at all kinds of examples um, that they have here, um, as well as documentation and API. Um, they, a lot of the times, they'll be using like something like Observable or something, which is a JavaScript um, a version or usage for very similar to... Um, um, Jupyter uh, notebooks in Python, um, but we're going to be using kind of the the standard way here. All right, now I already have um, a D3 project file open. It is empty, and so I'm going to go on and kind of create some of the basics of what we're going to be needing. So I'm going to uh, touch. I want an index.html, and I'll probably be using this one a lot, just as the standard fanfare of our um, kind of, kind of, just our home page for this, um, and I'll be editing everything inside of. Like today, we'll do something. Uh, some, I can just say some example. Js again. I'm just talking about how to set everything up uh, right now. <clears throat> so, again, let's go on and um, open, and I'm gonna go. Whoops. Uh, 
um, and I want that index.html. Oh, and I didn't want to open it here. I actually want to open it here. Okay, and so let's go on and get this started up. I'm going to just fill it in with some HTML5 boilerplate code. Um, I'm going to get rid of these two meta lines. I'll keep this character uh, set for UTF-8. Um, and then I'm going to go on and put in that script tag. Now we're currently using D3 version 7, um, the minimized version. Again, it, it, this is just what I'm copying from there. Um, if it updates throughout the course, I'll probably update it a little bit. Um, in a title in here, I'll do something like uh, D3 with data science for, for everyone. Now, you're not going to need anything else in here. Um, now, you could, okay, uh, put in a script tag and uh, write your D3 code here, okay, if you so wanted to. Uh, but I have a tendency to like writing it in a separate script file. Okay, so I'm going to uh, delete this for now. Um, leave that space in there. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add in another script src and I would do something like example.js. Um, now again, this part I'll have to change um, every time we make a new file. Uh, the reason I'm making these uh, separate entity files uh, later on is so that I can put them up on the GitHub page and you guys can download them um, if you so want to. Uh, and this is actually going to be it for our basic setup. Now I will, um, let me actually go on and uh, also open up that uh, that example file and we'll just uh, do a quick example uh, and do something like um, alert hello okay um, and just have that run so the next thing that we want to do is go on and actually do python dash m http dot server now one thing make sure that you are inside of um, whatever project folder you are using okay otherwise it's not going to uh, work now I'm not using any d3 right now okay I am just uh, showing you guys how to start up the server um, it will start up and then here it says that it's on our local host okay and it'll be at port 8000 again we could put it on our own port uh, whatever you want but I'm just gonna be using the the basic of the basics so I can click that and again it's telling me I'm not connected to the internet because I, it's here um, and I can do localhost 8000 and run and notice here we get up this instantly uh, this hello um, and I can hit clear and notice here there is nothing there um, we can even put in maybe just a uh, a little bit of HTML in here so let's do h1 uh, welcome to d3 with data science for everyone um, and then uh, do something like um, I hope you will enjoy this series okay and then again what we can do there is later on we can just refresh again that um, First, that alert is going to come up with our JavaScript, and then notice here now we actually have we actually have some content uh, on that page, okay? Um, and I'm going to go on and actually delete that information. I'm going to save this, and I'll uh, I'll start using this kind of format for the rest of the series. Um, and again, this is just going to be this HTML um, index.html. Maybe I may start making some. Uh, special ones and start calling them something like um, I don't know example one DOM selection or um, anything else like that as needed throughout the series but I'll be saving all of this again in our github uh, so this is this is going to be the the introduction to it this is kind of setting everything up um, so if you guys like this please comment subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time bye bye